All right, guys, so today we have Denzel, and Denzel has come to us for a freaking color service. Not long before this recording, he has seen a service that I did, well, pretty much a haircut. I didn't even do the color. He had already came to the shop with his hair bleached, and I just had to cut it. But this is the thing, due to the fact that one of my clients ran into a situation one time and came back like this. See, this is how T looked after he got a service, a color service somewhere else, but the person that normally did his hair wasn't there, somebody else picked up, and that's how they sent him home. And Nate had to pretty much work out a freaking miracle on T. And while he was working, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna record this thing, and I'm gonna remind myself that I never want any of my clients or the shop's clients to ever feel like they have to go somewhere else else to do a freaking color service. So while we're letting this bleach process under this aluminum foil, we're, we're just going to carry on with the service. Normally, I don't do something like this. So I already know this is going to add on to the amount of time. And about 15, 17 minutes passed, I checked the bleach and it was already processing pretty fast. Got to the tone that he wanted. He didn't want that Odell Beckham bleach down. He wanted something a little bit darker. And, you know, I used, you know, the shampoo, that purple shampoo. gentlemen if you're ever in the tampa bay area look forward to seeing a loving korean man start tearing up the dance floor in the barbershop okay shout outs to luke we're gonna continue this freaking haircut with uh just the fading process he kind of didn't want much of a high fade he wanted me to drop it and i did so but i i have to keep in mind denzel has a few protrusions around the ear section behind the ear section should i say and it did kind of make me have a little bit of a hard time with the shades but overall you just want to kind of keep in mind that you want to curve it right you want to drop and curve and whenever you run into those darker shades because of the protruding areas just re realize that you're gonna have to use a lot of corner work you might have to uh raise the fade a little bit more around that section you know you ever been on a on a bathroom break as you're walking back towards the haircut you realize man i see i see something different from this angle that's what i mean Now leading into this freaking uh, edge up, I don't know if you noticed, I left a lot of that front edge line dark because I felt if I bleached it, it wasn't gonna pop. And I don't know how the comment section is gonna be acting up about this overall, but just keep in mind for, for context reasons, that's why I left it darker, guys. You can still go off, it's cool. I love the comment section either way, but that is my reasoning. Not an excuse, but reasoning. And shortly after, of course, he wanted a nice little lineup on the mustache. He definitely clean around the rim. Leading into this beard section, you already know, guys, I don't really like asking my clients to just hold their head back. I like using my chair properly. Uh, I, I've noticed it that a lot of barbers don't like doing that, especially when they're in the rush. And I get it. If you're in the within 30 minute slots, sometimes you might feel like you don't have time for this. You know, get your money. You know, I'm not opposed to that. I've done it too. Uh, but right now, I have an hour slot for this. And I might even take a little longer if I'm recording. But a regular day, 
I could definitely get it done in less time. So, you know, it just depends on how you're trying to run your business. If I wasn't doing these YouTube videos, I would just focus on volume as much as I could. You know, what I'm showing on this channel, I show it because maybe I'm bored at times and I've done a lot of the same types of videos and I just want to try something different. But, you know, if, if you are building your clientele, for sure, focus on the basics. It, it matters so much more, I promise you. And that is where chapter two of this story starts, guys. He came back to me about two months later, and this is after a whole bunch of haircuts, great pictures with his family. He got a lot of compliments. It made me feel good just as much as it made him feel good, all right? But it was time. He wanted to freaking color it black. Cool, yet again, another service I don't remember doing, but I still took it on, and I still went for it, and I still went about these fading techniques the same exact way if you're wondering. Yes. Now crossing over to the mistake that we made. I'm including you in this because we're br I'm dragging you with me on this one, okay? I purchased the color. That's it. No developer. For those that do color, you already know where this disaster is going. But for those that don't, I'm about to take you on a journey. This is where I started realizing something's up. I'm wondering. I'm sitting there asking myself, why is this taking longer than what I expected? Something's wrong here. Why is this color still not darkening up? So if it's not black and it's blue, then what? Is it, is it blue? It's blue, bro. It's not blue. It's kind of looks red in the back. Yeah, you don't have to be I think blue will go with you, bro. No. You're doing that, bro. It's gonna turn. And so I mixed on. And as I'm mixing, I'm trying to give Denzel some space. Denzel is looking at this haircut, this this color service, with with hope that 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 the color changes, that it's not just blue. And so you know, he uh, he needed a drink. He needed to feel a little bit better about the situation. So did I. Um, well, not yet. I'm not drinking yet, guys. But I definitely needed a shot. And oh my God, it's blue. It's blue, guys. It's not black. So maybe something uh, something needs to change here. But I need to freaking wash this thing off. Yeah. Uh-huh. And this is where we find out that things aren't looking too good. The color is not black, that's for sure. And I am just shampooing, trying to figure out in my head, how am I going to explain this to him that this is looking how it looks now? It's probably going to look worse once it's dry. What am I going to do? How am I going to tell Denzel that his hair's not black yet? Damn, I'm just realizing it's going to be a longer night than I thought it was. That means I got to go to plan B. What is plan B? So, um... The hair didn't come out completely black. Came out kind of grayish, foggyish, greenish. And I just told him to hold up. And I went and got some more color because I wasn't fully prepared with multiple tubes. Can't stop now, right? Right? We just gotta go for another one. So I went to Sally's, picked up two tubes, developer, and we are about to go at this one more time. All right. Here? Yes, sir. I'm calling. Got a black. Here we are, guys. Plan B. Chapter three of this whole experience. And I'm just here struggling to get all the color out of this thing. But I did get two tubes of color this time, uh, unlike the first. And, you know, I actually have developer, guys. And it's, it's making me feel a little better to realize that I effed up. 
Cross your fingers. Let's hope that we could get rid of this freaking mysterious color that Denzel has on top of his head. Now, if you don't want to make any of the mistakes that I made on this video, make sure to click on the link below on the Tomb 45 Academy. I will be discussing my cutting methods, things that I could have done better, and how to think ahead when it comes to these types of services. Make sure you click on the link, Tomb 45. See you there. Take it easy. Yeah. Have a good weekend, bro. We gotta take a break, get some food, bro. By the order of the store up here. Work hard, you gotta get fair, right? It's the fuel right here. You We're taking a quick lunch break right now, and then we finish. We finish strong. We have made it back to the wash bowl. This wash bowl has seen more of Denzel than anybody else in one day. So as we're washing away this color, I'm seeing that it's not like the last time. I'm seeing, I'm feeling more positive. Uh, I'm happy for Denzel even more so because he had to take some family pictures. Imagine if Denzel had to go and take pictures looking like this. Imagine that would have been his situation. And then his wife would have hated me for the rest of my freaking career. She probably wouldn't even let Denzel come back to me. We can't let that happen as professionals. All right, guys, and that is the video. Denzel's journey through color with me. And so I have learned a lot from this experience. I hope you did too. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comment section. Make sure it's lit. As a matter of fact, if there's enough likes, let's say, I don't know, a thousand likes for this video. If you want me to, I'll drop something on T. If it wasn't for T coming in like this, this video possibly would have never happened. So shout outs to T. Are you scared? I could if, like if I really kept my hair like this, I know I could pull it off. But I ain't trying to pull up the work with no blue hair. <laughs>